What's up, guys? <clears throat> no, what's up, guys? Sean here. We got a 2008 Electroglide. This is not an Ultra. Not all Electroglides are Ultras, not our, but all Ultras are Electroglides, if that makes sense. 2008 is the 105th anniversary of this bike. And, um, the, the main differences between the Ultra and the Electroglide are real simple. You can see the, an Ultra will have fairings right there, like, like those. And it also has the comm system. That'll be right here, and then another port will be back here. And also the Ultra has the speakers back here, like this one does. This one has uh, speaker boxes, just like from an Ultra, but they put a, they have a Polk audio system in here. And this bike is actually pretty teched out. They got some pretty cool stuff. And, you know, a later model Harley Davidson seat. It's got a, a Sony radio. Pop, pop this off. It's got a Sony radio with Bluetooth and USB port that is controlled that you can still control with uh with the audio buttons you can still change the volume and change the station it also has these little tweeters up here um the system sounds really really good it also has a cool uh usb charging port and i'm pretty sure this also this this connects to the uh the radio so you can also play your phone via bluetooth or the charging port. It's actually a pretty uh, a, a pretty nice setup, and the in this the stereo sounds great, way better than a stock factory Harleywood. Sixty five thousand miles. This bike fires up good. It's got Vantenheim's pipes. Everything feels really really tight. Throttle feels good. Clutch feels good. Uh, we're gonna take it for a spin. Check out the test drive video. It is Vantenheim's true dual pipes which is cool. Um, it does have two key fobs for the alarm system, two key fobs for the light system, which I, I don't know how, how to work that. Uh, but there's lights tucked away somewhere. There's a couple lights right there. Um, so, all right, like normal, we're gonna walk around this thing, pick it apart, I'm gonna find every little scratch, any little flaw in this bike so that you know exactly what you're getting into. Let's start back here. This side of the tour pack looks very, very nice. That's just a bug. This side bag looks great. Little, little scratch right there. Um, that all looks good. Looks like got a little, little scratches right there. Looks like from when they took the, they took the bag off. Shuffle on over here. This all looks nice and clean. Come to the tank. I'm not seeing anything that I can't just scrape off with my nail. Looks good up there. Shuffle on over here, no. Never been down, never been on the engine bars. Um, there, there is some, uh, some pitting on these lower fork tubes. That's very normal for, for a bike with this many miles. You know, highway mile. Does have the cool um, uh, LED fog lights which are really bright okay here's the front fender little touch up paint right there little spot right there that's scraping off <clears throat> a couple little small blemishes on the front fender <clears throat> well that actually looks pretty good on the front fairing, you can see it's got a 
It's got maybe one, two, it's got a decent amount of touch up paint on the very front, right above the headlight. And you can see the size of my fingernail on the front there. From bog sheets, you zoom back, you know I mean, you can't even see it. It's a little, very fine scratch right there, you can't barely see it. Over here, we got some, got some light scratches right there. A little light stuff on that corner, if you can see it. Little thing right there. I mean, looking at the thing as a whole, if, if I just took a picture like this, you'd think the bike was, you know, perfect. But I want you guys to see all the little imperfections that I see. Little scratch right there. Scratches right there. A little chip. A little tight chip right there. Yeah, but it's all just normal stuff that you would expect from a bike that's been on the highway. Little thing right there. It's got a lot of, it's got some high good highway miles on it. Other than that, we walk, we go back around the bike. There's a little uh For a touch up paint. Look like a little chip hat, a little rock hit there. Engine looks nice and clean, doesn't leak any oil. Come over here. These are really nice seats. Harley Davidson seats. Side bag looks good. Four pack looks nice. The dual exhaust, everything looks good back here. Let's pop this open. We got the manual. We got the stick. We got the manual for the Bluetooth stereo system, and we got the stuff for the uh, the Polk Audio speakers mounted back there in the tour pack. It also has this cool little uh, Harley Davidson rack, and the guy has an extra uh, extra tour pack clip I mean these are fine I don't, I don't know why there's an extra one but there's an extra one in there and that's all pretty cool let's see what else yeah I mean it's actually it's, it's, it's a really nice bike runs real good check out the other test drive video to see how it uh to see how it runs look at the tires Wow, holy cow, it's like, these are like brand new tires. Big old fat, I can't even stick my finger in the bottom, it's the bottom of the tread. Big old fat tires. Yeah, I remember them telling me that these were like brand new tires. Um, yeah, really nice bike, let's, uh, let's fire it up. Let's see what it sounds like.
Man, I bet this thing's great to drive at night with all those lights, all those uh, LED lights. That's awesome. Guys, this is a really cool bike. This is gonna sell fast. I'm gonna blow it out cheap. I wanna get this thing going before the uh, before the winter, which for most people, I'm selling bikes to people in California, Florida. They don't they don't have a winter, so they don't really care. Um, so this bike is gonna sell real fast. All right, guys, check out the test drive video.